everyone, welcome back to another mukbang. Today I'm back with some raisin cane. This one is the Kenya Kakambo. It comes with, uh, I think, about five to six uh, chicken fingers. And their famous cane sauce, coleslaw, crinkle fries, and Texas toast. That would be really cute to uh, have Aiden <laughs> eat something similar. I have, I don't know if you guys could see. So I have chicken breast. Uh, these are all steamed zucchini. And this one is um, like a rice finger sticks. Basically rice, uh, chicken, and potato. Uh, because I know that he won't be actually eating these chickens. He's gonna just kind of like suckle on it. But with these finger, like rice finger rolls. Um, these are kind of hot right now. He actually swallows them. So uh, for nutrition purpose, I made it into finger rolls. But here are his version of chicken fingers. Um... I think these are the. Let's see if he would eat the zucchini. I give him the zucchini. Maybe I'll have like a little. You can look at yourself while you eat. <gasps> you like the zucchini? Do you like the zucchini? I think he kind of likes it. Do you like the zucchini? Do you want a little bit? I think he kind of likes it. Oh, okay. Actually, one thing that I've been really trying to do is give him water. Because uh, I had a few times where like I know that he has too much food or like it's a little dry so he needs a little bit of water so I've been trying to have water next to him which let me get yeah, he doesn't need the water right now but this has been uh, my go-to bottle for him I got this L Lalo or Lalo I don't know how to pronounce it uh, I got their like silicone right silicone water bottle but uh, the straw is a little too too big for him and it spills actually really easily um, but this uh, Hegan one, this one's pretty nice. I just wish that this will come off the lid, but uh... Do you like that? I think you like the zucchini. I'm gonna let him have it a little bit more. Um, oh, and I got some Coke. Oh, so I told myself no fast food, but for mukbang, it's an exception. So I am very glad that I'm filming this today. You wanna try the chicken? You wanna try the chicken? Oh yeah, you like the juice, huh? Um, Ahmed's been like lingering. Or, uh, he's in the kitchen right now, but he's been lingering. Cause uh, whenever Aiden drops something or, or like his leftover, Ami knows that it's all his. There are certain vegetables that he can't eat, but most of them are healthy for him. These are all steamed. Well, except for this one, I kind of like pan fried it a little bit, so I don't give him the ones with oil. But um, you like that, huh? Oh my gosh, he loves the chicken. I think he likes it more than. Oh, actually, he really liked the beef too. Mm. Mm, this is so good. This is kind of like a better version of Thousand Island. <laughs> mm. Mm. Are you actually eating the chicken? Wow. I'm actually pretty shocked that he is. Ahmed, Ahmed brought a toy because he wants to exchange with the chicken. Ahmed, just wait. He was, Ahmed has been fed. Just making it very clear with everybody or if you're new to my channel. Ahmed has been fed. The sauce here and the ketchup. I usually don't ask for ketchup whenever whenever I go on fast food because I usually have to ketchup at home. But not here. Oh the chicken's right here. Hmm. Do you like the chicken? <laughs> well I'm actually kinda because with the beef I think it was too chewy, so he couldn't really, he couldn't really chew on it or even like take pieces off of it. But I think the chicken is pretty soft. Do you want the zucchini? <laughs> yeah, he's not eating. He just 
Waste my zucchini. Mm. I really like the Texas toast, but I kind of want to eat it at the restaurant because I wonder how good it will be like just right out. Okay, I think that was too much for you. You want some water first? Okay. You could take a little bit of water. Yeah, he spills all over. It's still too much for him, but he's learning. I may hear one try this. Yeah. This one has, again, potato, chicken. Oh my god. I'm it. Relax. Aiden has a nice sweater on right now, but his babe is covering it. <clears throat> um, well, I worked out. Aiden just came back from a daycare, and I tried to dress him a little bit more, but with like non pajama looking clothes okay can you slow down a little bit thank you no 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 i think you're, you're kind of a little too fast right now you wait like you have food in your mouth why don't you chew that first here look see why don't you eat that first you guys mommy wants to eat too mm. No water? Are you, okay. So I've heard that if you are child if your child is growing up in like a bilingual home it usually takes a little longer for them to actually start speaking fluently but a lot of parents um notices that when they start going to daycare they don't really understand english very well or they can't speak it because they're more used to like korean for example and um they've feel the urgency to like oh stop speaking korean only speak english at home so like that's why a lot of parents like give up on the bi like a like an actual like full bilingual uh opportunity for the kids but because because they can't like a year or two more because they feel like your kid is a little like slower than the others but i heard that it's normal uh, it takes a little longer because they're understanding, they're un trying to understand, speak, um, you know, like listen, think and listen in two different languages, you know. But if you wait, if you're a little patient with the kid, they will learn, they will start speaking English or Korean and they'll be fully actually bilingual. When it comes to I heard that I thought I was bi bilingual, bilingual, no, I thought I was bilingual, but. I heard you have to like think in both languages, but I, I think I only think in one language. I don't know. So if you guys are kind of like in a similar stage with me, you guys live in a bilingual home, just be a little patient. Eventually speak both languages and how easy was that, you know? I go, want to slow down a little bit? If it takes a year or two longer for Aiden to speak both language language fluently i'll be patient hopefully i'll be patient and i'll wait for him but my issue my concern was where the hell is gonna learn 
a proper English because me and Tong, Tong and I have a pretty broken English. My parents don't speak English to him at all. They can't. So that was one of the reasons why I'm like, okay, I want to send my kid to a daycare because I want him to learn proper English. Like for Tong and I, like, yes, we could communicate in English, but there are certain things that like you learn, like, like a culture in English. I don't know how to really explain it. Like, like little sayings, little expressions that you learn by, like, you don't really learn it anywhere. But kids learn it through their parents, and their parents learn from their parents. So for me and Tong, learning English from school, we don't get to learn those expressions, right? I mean, we know it in Korean, but like you know, like, but we don't really learn it. Uh, English and that's something that I want Aiden to be familiar with as well. Although he doesn't have American grandparents, by going to daycare, I'm really hoping that he'll pick up those little cute and like fun in in expressions. I think we're done. Are you done? I think. Okay, let's just stop. You like rushed the food today. I don't even know if you actually ate. Oh yeah, here's like all the food in here. I don't want to show it to you guys because it's gross, but... I'm gonna just sit here and watch TV with mommy. Okay, here. I'll play something for him. Um, probably with like no music. So one of the, I guess, characteristics that you build as a mother, although I'm a pretty new mom, but I think I gained this pretty instantly, is you don't really give a shit about a lot of things. Um, because you just don't have the energy for it. You finally understand that it's not worth your time. And that's one of the things I really love about, like one thing that I really like, am happy that I kind of gained this power. <laughs> Everyone has a different view on mom, right? Um, what, what is a mother to them? For me, or at least like what kind of mom that I want to be is, I want to be a very indestructible mom. I think I mentioned this in a different video too, but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to show my feelings. That doesn't, that does not mean that I'm not going to show my baby me crying. Of course, I want to be able to show him that it's okay to cry when you need to cry. When you're angry, show that you're angry. And like show, show him how to cope with certain situations and being able to accept his feelings. But properly done, you know? But I don't... Because, like, the reason, like... But at the same time, I want him to understand that she's a human. She has feelings. <laughs> so, it's going to be tough, but... Might be impossible almost, but... I haven't had this in a while, it's pretty good. I'm eating the same thing, but this is a better version. Because, you know, our parents' generation, it's almost unacceptable for men to cry a lot. There's even a saying in Korean where a man should only cry three times in his lifetime is when he's born. Um, I think all the ones when he gets circumcised, and the other one is when his mother dies. <laughs> I think that was the. I don't know. Some people, some people have like others, like little different situations, but that's what I know. So that's how like how they viewed men with crying, but I completely disagree. I think it's okay. Absolutely okay for Aiden to cry when he needs, he needs to cry, and I want to teach him that it's okay. Might be in, might be interesting because Tong is actually not a crier. Crier, he does not cry. I think I saw him cry like three times, but it was like so unexpected too. So it made me cry. I'm like, what the hell? Where is this coming from? Why are you crying? It was one of those moments, all three times. Um, he teared up at my wedding. 
Our, our wedding. <laughs> Not my wedding. Um, but other than that, he like, I think there was one time where he was bawling and he couldn't stop crying. So busy looking at the phone, sucking his index finger. You guys, I don't know if it's supposed to happen this early, but he's like showing himself. Like, if he he hates buckling in the car seat, I like kind of grab him a little bit. He starts screaming as if I'm like attacking him or like kidnapping him or something like that. Man, and he does it like a few other times where like he actually just don't want to be touched or like if I'm doing something that he doesn't want me to do then he will make the scream. And I am terrified for my terrible tooth or his terrible tooth. So, don't always tell me that I had this dead fish eye where I just kind of stare at him and like it doesn't look like I have a soul in me. Tone has that too. Or apparently, I have a little bit more. But Tone thinks that Aiden has it as well. I haven't really seen it, but Tone apparently did. Okay, I don't know where it cut off. It's a cue for me to uh, wrap up the filming. I am very happy I got this today. We both ate chicken. You too, Ahmed. <laughs> He's still right here. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy another mukbang. Hopefully next one I'll be able to film for Christmas. <clears throat> and now that Eden's able to like, sit on the high chair for a little longer and he's enjoying his food. Uh, it's definitely getting easier but still pretty difficult. I'm like rushing on all over the place just to film this. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed everything and happy holidays to you guys. Stay warm and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!